All right, so herniated, herniated discs at your neck. Um, they are, I would say, not as common as herniated discs in your lower back, but they're, they're still common. Um, not often so much related to posture, but um, more, more in response to like a, a collision in a car accident where you get this like whipping action at your neck. So if we look at the discs in the spine, they're kind of like a jelly donut. So there's a the harder outer kind of crust and there's like a jelly water-like material on the inside. And if we squeeze on one side of the jelly donut, the jelly goes out the other side, out the back. And so um, that's important because there's, there's nerves that are on the, the back side of the neck. And so if we squeeze out some of the jelly like material that kind of impinges upon that, that, that nerve and those nerves, they come out of your neck and they run down into your arms. So oftentimes if you have a herniated disc in your neck, you can get pain into your arms, pain, tingling, numb, numbness, weakness. You can e even see if it's really severe, you can get atrophy on your shoulder because those muscles uh, are innervated by the muscles that come out of your neck. So if you're experiencing any type of neck pain or symptoms that are into your arm and you don't think it's your shoulder, if you can move your arm around relatively okay, but if you move your neck, if that causes pain in your shoulder, it's probably coming from your neck, some kind of impingement of a nerve on your neck. Could be a herniated disc.